Hey, Emacs is coming out with some baby red bottoms and I gotta say, they're pretty freaking amazing. But here in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at them. Uh, we're gonna look at the flight performance and talk a little bit about them. So buckle up, let's get ready to go. Got a little oscillation going on. How was that for a little micro punch out? This frame is 110 millimeters motor to motor. It's the Pipsqueak V1, runs up to 2.5 inch props, but I think I'm running a little shy of that right now, about 2.3 inch props. And the motors though, 1106, 6,000 kV Emax red bottoms, or the baby red bottoms, or what I'm probably gonna call them, the baby red monsters, because that was a monster punch out. These are, compared to the 1105s, I ran the Rotor X motors at like 5,000 kV or whatever their, their mid kV one was, and it just felt like I was putting around the backyard, but then I put these on, and it was a beast. I really felt like I was flying something more akin to a five inch quad, just because of the power, the get up and go, um, the control, it felt really good and the get up and go from dead still to full speed it is it's quick so let's look at some video uh, FPV feed video and then I'm gonna tell you about battery life the weight of the frame what it goes with and how hot do these motors get I just want to say I had permission to fly around those kids. That was a friend. I was doing a demonstration uh, for her grandchildren. Uh, one of her kids is interested in drones, and so I was out there giving him a demonstration and also, you know, exercising her little two year old. But uh, in the video, it didn't seem as quick as I'm bragging about. And that's because, unfortunately, this frame, I, I modded it to put a micro swift in there. And because of that, I couldn't get as much angle as I could with the other camera that was supposed to go in there. So I'm only at like 20 degrees flying angle. And honestly, if you could put the frame like that camera angle and fly, it would have been fast. So as far as speed goes though, you know, I'm not sure how fast you can go. I want to throw it on a UTT and give it a shot when I get it on a different frame. The V2 Pipsqueak, the V2 Pipsqueak will be able to hold 11X, 11XX size motors as well as 14XX size motors. And so on that frame, I can get a ton of angle, like 40 degrees angle on that frame. So I'll do another flight review when I get that frame up and going. But until then, that's all I got for you, sorry. Uh, this is the motor. It weighs in at 7.6 grams, that's with the wires. And you know, it's, it's everything you come to expect from Emacs, you know, it, it's good quality. Hopefully we're not gonna have any magnets slipping. I haven't so far, but I am running I want to note that these motors, the specs on them, they're showing it for 2S. I asked if I could run a 4S battery on it, and they told me that's fine. And so I did. I ran a 4S battery, uh, this little 60C 4S, 450 mAh battery, and it was quick. It was really quick. I tried 3S also, but the 4S got up and went a lot 
faster at the cost of scorching hot motors. I'm talking, you know, second degree burns if you touch the motor after flying for a battery. So if you have to change props, you're gonna have to be blowing on your motor to cool it off before you can change your prop if you're running a 4S battery. On 3S, they warmed up, uh, but like a normal, you can touch warm, not a ow, 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 hot. So just be mindful if you're gonna use these with a 4S battery, they're, they're only rated for 2S apparently, but I was told 3 and 4S were okay. And up to 3 inch prop. I, I didn't try it on a 3 inch prop. This frame weighs in at about 94 grams all up weight right there. Throw the battery on there, it was like 130 grams. And that's what you saw in the video, and that's what you saw on the punch out. And that's pretty quick. I've also thrown a 850 milliamp battery on and I couldn't even tell that I put the extra weight on. That's how well these motors were carrying the weight. Now even though in this video I was running the 450 milliamp batteries, I've also run the 850 milliamp batteries and I would probably recommend something higher than this just because with this battery on 4S, 4S battery, I was getting less than two minutes of flight time. Um, so. If you're gonna have, if you want flight time, you're gonna need a little bit bigger battery. I would say at least in the 600 range, uh, if you wanna be flying comfortably for two minutes, or even the 850 milliamp battery, because really, these, these motors, uh, it was carrying the weight just fine. The speed was still there. This thing really does rip the sky. I was impressed, um, very, very impressed. Enough that I want to actually keep this frame. Last time, Nick built out the frame and I tested it on his build and gave it back to him when I was done testing it for videos and stuff like that because I just wasn't impressed. Uh, I, I like speed, but with these motors, this frame becomes something I would enjoy flying again. Uh, I built this actually for my wife so I can get her flying some FPV, and I'm just I'm a little worried. I might need to put like smaller motors on for her. Otherwise, I'm afraid she's going to kill somebody. Uh, if she was out there today, she would have killed that kid. Be careful if you're out there, if you're a brand new flyer. Um, this is, I think, a great size frame. Two, 2.5, three inch frames are great uh, just because they're lightweight. They're hard to break, especially if you get something uh, in the 2.5 inch. If it's under 100 grams uh, built, two millimeter, two and a half millimeter bottom plate is usually gonna be good enough. Uh, if you're in the three inch range, three millimeter, and, and you're good, you're good to go. It, it's a durable frame. Um, it's a durable size for electronics. These motors aren't going to cost you an arm and a leg. Uh, same as everything else that goes in here. They're a lot cheaper when it's a micro size. So I really enjoyed this. Um, I would recommend you getting this if you're wanting to fly in tight areas. Especially, this would be a lot more fun in my backyard than a 5 inch quad just because I could easily overshoot with a 5 inch quad, which I wouldn't be able to do with this one because it's lighter, the inertia is less, it's easier to control. So yeah, keep an eye out for these red bottoms, the baby red monsters. Is that what I call them? Baby bottom. Baby bottom. I think that about covers it, so thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like the video, leave a comment if you have any questions or just want to say hi. I, I try my best to respond back. Especially if you have questions, I'll respond back. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Subscribe. Peace.